Hey there, decided to create a short video to sort of go over the process I go through to uh, add a new text mesh for object or how I would go about adding a script, for example, to change the vertex color on a text object. So let's get going. So first thing I'm going to do is to add a text mesh for object. I'm running right now version uh, point, uh, 1.044, which is the same one that's on the asset store. So to add a text mesh for object, uh, you have different choices. You can go to create and add one here. Uh, so it adds the text object right there. Um, another way to add one, it's all deleted, is uh, Control shift n to add an empty game object. Uh, let me just put it back at zero, zero and center our screen. So empty game object, I can go add component, mesh, and in mesh, we're going to add a text mesh pro component. Uh, unlike the other one that comes, that says hello world, this one doesn't say anything, but this is uh, some text. Uh, just recenter our view right there. So that's the second way to do it. Um, for the example that we're going to do right here, I'm actually going to delete this game object. I'll create a new one. Uh, again, sadly, reset its position. We're going to go in our scripts folder. We're going to create a new C sharp script. I guess my cursor is hard to see right there. We'll call it uh, color changer. Nothing uh, unique about this name. I'm going to start Visual Studio. And let me move my Visual Studio screen or uh, in here. Actually, let me ditch this bottom part here. Ah. Okay, this is me wrestling with Visual Studio. Not fun. Okay, sorry about that. I'm just trying to make sure it's inside the screen. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to ditch all this stuff. Uh, we're going to go, well, first we need to add the namespace for Text Mesh Pro. Here we go. Uh, we're now going to add a private object of the type text mesh pro. So that's our object. And basically, uh, we're going to create a private string, which will be our label for the text. This is equal to some text. Then we're going to add our buddy awake. And in a way, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, assign our text mesh pro component. And we're going to basically say game object, period, get component. So we're going to try to get the component of the type text mesh pro. Oops, not a zero there. And if none exists, we're going to actually add one. So this will give us the ability to either start with a game object that has a text mesh pro component on it or start with one that doesn't. So there we go. Um, once this is done, oops, yep, there you go. So we're going to set our text label. Whoa, not sure what that one was. Uh, text is equal to label. <sighs> Trying to go too fast here. And now we're just going to set our face color, text mesh pro dot color is equal to, we'll pick a color, and we'll pick uh, cyan. There we go. Uh, and that's all we need. So we're going to save this amazing script. We're going to go back here. We have our empty game object. We're going to add our script to it. We're going to hit play. And now we have our text object, some text that is cyan. Now the uh, to test the script again, we're going to add a text mesh pro component to this guy and we'll actually put some text well example now since we're setting the text it will override this example and it will set the color blue as you can see here and it said the color blue um, and that's basically it there shouldn't be any more beyond this point in terms of trying to set the face color um, so let me know if you repeat these steps, you should be getting the same exact result. If you're not, then let me know where you're doing it differently so we can uh, figure this out. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this uh, was useful to you.